I have a confession to make. I am a huge Star Trek fan. <laughs> I don't know if I qualify as a Trekkie. I'll let you decide. I've seen all of the movies old and new, most of them several times. I've seen the entire original season. Most of Next Generation, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, who cares? Loved Enterprise. That was my favorite one with Scott Bakula. I watched all Discovery illegally. And I've also seen a little bit of the animated series from the 70s as an adult. I find your arguments strewn with gaping defects in logic. I thought it would be fun in my experimenting with the CNC machine. Water, cold to make a Star Trek badge, like the Starfleet badge. It's the perfect little thing for me to make because I'm trying to learn more about 3D carving and I'm also trying to learn about uh, feeds and speeds and setting up the machine for cutting aluminum. So I made this and I'm about to show you how. Now you'll notice that the insignia on this is not what you're used to seeing if you're not a Trekkie. I decided I'm not really captain material, I'm definitely not a science officer, so I went with engineering. You could put your symbol that you choose, that however you identify in your Star Trek world, on yours. Um, but check it out, I'm going to show you how I did it right now. I used my Vectric software and my cncrouterparts.com machine for this build. This video isn't specifically sponsored by them, but I love the stuff and I love saying their name any chance I can. So as you can see, what I did is I pulled the graphic off the internet and I created a 3D model of it. And it was relatively simple. It's a simple shape. There's only a couple components to it. So it was good for me to sort of learn and I'm adjusting it and figuring it all out here. Uh, once I thought I was pretty happy with it, it's time to set up some tool paths. Now what you see I did here is I drew that little circle to imitate the size of the router bit that I plan on using, and I wanted to make sure it would fit into every gap. This is a trick I learned from Todd Bailey over at designandmake.com. Uh, that way you know it's going to print if your router bit can fit in there, and you can see I'm still working out some of the chatter issues and stuff as the tool path goes. Uh, that's very useful though to simulate your router bit in your program while you're designing your files. I have this quarter inch thick piece of aluminum I got from my local steel yard. They have this room where you can go and you can just buy their cutoffs for like half the price of what it would cost to buy it new. So this is a quarter inch and there's plenty in here for me to make a few mistakes if I screw up. This is a little technique I recently learned that works pretty good. My buddy uh, Run CNC taught it to me. I used super glue on it pretty liberally. Stick them together. Just needs to sit for a second. Now it's clamped down here, and I don't have to worry about putting any clamps on it, so I can cut all the way through, and then I can just pull the tape off of each surface tape stuck together with the glue. The glue's not on anything that I'm working on and uh, voila. Yep, there we go. So now I'll screw this down somewhere, get it all centered up, and then we'll see if we can break some router bits. Based on the router bits that I have in my possession today, I'm using this eighth inch ball nose to cut it out first, and then I'm going to do it again with this 1 32nd of an inch ball nose. I'm afraid to do the whole thing with this little one because I think I'll just snap it instantly, but if I can get the bulk of the material away with the bigger bit, I should be okay. All right, you lovelies, hold together. Whoops. That went poorly, because that might have been my only eighth inch ball nose. Let's try it with a really big bit first, and uh, I slowed the machine way down, but I it was just went in too deep. So I needed to see if I can set the, the depth of pass a little bit higher too. Make it so. I went into my tool manager in the Vectric software and copied some of the router bits that I have on hand, but then renamed them as, quote, slow. And then I reset all the settings to run at a slower speed and to cut at shallower depths. So now when I'm going to do future aluminum projects, I can just grab the slow one and not have to worry about resetting up all my tool paths and my cutting depths and whatnot. You are fully dilated to 10 centimeters. You may now give birth. <laughs>
<laughs> How awesome is that? You have an unsurpassed talent for understatement. really cool in this case i should think interesting would suffice i'm a doctor not an engineer it's not quite perfect here the edge is a little bit rougher on this side than this side that's probably due to the piece not being perfectly flat but I'm gonna try and just clean this up a little bit by hand and uh, see what happens I still need to polish it up a little bit, but um, honestly, I'm, I'm probably not actually gonna wear it because I'm, I'm married and I would like to stay that way. So I'm gonna make a little box to like display it and like I'm being awarded. <laughs> I have much to teach you about women. I grabbed the profile of the badge and the circle that I had removed from it before, put it back together and created this simple little case kind of design. This might be cool, but it doesn't really look space agey. I found this in the other room. This looks better. Some reclaimed walnut from the pump organ. That looks more like space, right? I prefer the concrete. It's been a long, long getting from there to here. It's been a long time, but my time is finally. I have found when cutting pockets to fit a part that I also cut on the CNC in two perfectly, if I offset the pocket by two one hundredths of an inch, uh, that usually does the trick to make it fit nice. I did have to clean up the points in this a little bit with a chisel as my router bit was just too wide and I didn't go around and correct it like I had done before to fit the router bit. Yes, that is Starfleet. I apologize for some of the blurriness in this video. I got a new camera. I'm still figuring out how to use it. Uh, this is an addendum to the video. After I went and made the whole thing, I went back and I made some simpler 2D versions of my files and cut them out of 3 16 inch aluminum uh, to put up for sale at my Etsy store. I can make these in a, in a slightly faster and more affordable fashion. These four I'm going to give away to four of my patrons. I'm going to do a random drawing on Patreon and, and give these away. So I hope you guys like Star Trek. <laughs> There are many who are uncomfortable with what we have created. I hope you had fun. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you can also support me over on patreon.com slash timsway, where you get early access to some of this stuff. And I do some sort of Patreon-only content every once in a while. And I also give stuff away sometimes, too. So thank you again, and be good. Live long and prosper. Please beam me out of here. Up your shaft.